Everybody loves beautiful things. There are beautiful colors, beautiful textures, beautiful smells, beautiful tastes. But what I like best of all are beautiful people. And there are some that are accidents of nature. That's how we get even with them. There are other people who work with themselves and make themselves beautiful. You can make yourself beautiful. Everybody can. Every single one of you. What you doing down there, David? A what? Week back. Oh, oh, it'll get better. And, uh, Alice. I'm going to stay young as long as I live. I think you're doing a pretty good job. How about you, Manny? I'm trying to strengthen my abdominal muscles. Ah, oh, that was said beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> John? I've got to strengthen my back, too. Yeah, that's good. It's good to get it when, when you're young. Makes a big difference. How about you, Paul, Pauline? Oh, I'm <laughs> that belly yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we're going to do today is show you how to, this is kind of the basic thing. I've called it the back, but what we're really going to work on is the spine, all the way down, from here all the way down. And that doesn't involve just the back. It comes all the way around and takes the, in the abdominal muscles and all the side muscles too. Stand up. Okay, now remember, anything at all that hurts, just don't do. It, you have to be able to judge for yourself. That's a major thing I hope you'll do from this. Really learn to judge for yourself what you can and can't do. Comfort. Ask your doctor if you need to. There are a good doctors and artists. Ask. Lean over forward first. Let your head drop. And this curves the back forward. That's one of the major moves that you make with the spine. Feels good, too. It does. In fact, for most problems with the back, that's just about the most relaxing and comfortable movement. But it's even better if your back is really bad if you sit down and do it, because then you don't have the weight of the upper body pulling it down. Okay, next, let your head hang back a little and bounce back. And that's the other curve. That's the, the bending backwards. Not so easy. No, it isn't. No, that one, you don't have as much movement in your spine that way. That's some people, some people really have a whole lot more movement backwards than forwards, believe it or not. And, you know, this is one thing people need to, to think about. The, this is called the trunk. There are different kinds of trunks. You'd be better off to think of yourself as a willow trunk than as, a, you know, an oak, because you really need to be able to bend easily. This is the next move the spine makes from side to side. And again, the, the spine is bending, you know, from one side to the other. Oh, this is a good exercise. I like this one. Yeah, these are nice and simple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the, this is I the easy this. version. Well, you're looking <laughs> younger already. Why should, I know. Why should feel better you, on boy. one side than it does on the other? Everybody has, is more flexible yeah. and stronger yeah. on one yeah. side than, than on another. It's according to the person, according to how you, what sort of work you do, according to the way you're built, all sorts of things. I go better this way than... Good. <laughs> okay, the next one. Hold your hips still and rotate the top part of you. You know, this, again, with well, the point you brought up is a very important one. Every single person is unique. You are unique. And your body is going to be just a little bit different than the next person's. You always, that's why you have to judge for yourself. If anything bothers you, then you're very careful. And if anything really hurts, go see the doctor. You want us to move our heads too? Now you see, Manny? I now, that's, that's a good question. Right. The it's moving of the heads yeah. it takes in a different area. Moving this way Could gets you what? from here to here. Moving the head gets you from here to here. And now to stop the swing of the arms, and now just try it with the head from oh, side like to side. Why didn't we keep that one up? Yeah, it's what? Easy. Why didn't we keep that one up? I like that it one. It is nice. We'll go back to it. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the, the fifth movement that you can make with your spine. There are other variations, you know, from different directions. You know, you, every time, by the way, that you pull around this way, your body slightly flexes forward. It, whether you can feel it or not, it mm. pulls it slightly forward at the same time. Okay, now what we're going to do is show you how to do, use those same movements, but to actually exercise the muscles by moving, uh, using your body weight against it. Pull the benches out. You don't need the pillows. Oh, 
Okay. okay. And lie down. Okay. <laughs> Be comfortable. <laughs> Let your head hang over the edge. First of all, put your fingers in your belly muscles and lift your head up. Anybody out there with a bad back, be very careful. Do everything very gently. Make sure you're not going to hurt yourself. You have to always do everything carefully. If this bothers you, get your head back on the bench. Okay, now besides the, the belly muscles, feel your neck muscles and bring your head up again. Don't press too hard on the veins, you'll black out. <laughs> <laughs> Do it a few times and feel first your neck muscles and then your belly muscles as you go. Does that bother your back, Manny? What? No. Nope. Does it bother yours, David? No, not at all. I tried. Good. I was wondering why it would. It doesn't seem bad at all. I don't feel it at all down there. You, can, you don't feel it? No. Good. You should, that's very good. This is one of the simplest, one of the beginning abdominal exercises. Okay, try this one and see how this one feels. If you want, you can, you can bring your knees up a little. And again, put your fingers in your abdominal muscles and come all the way up. Uh, what I really meant to tell you to do is put your hands around your waist because I want you to feel how much more works this time. Put your hands around your waist and now roll up. Can everybody do that? No, <laughs> I cannot. Put your knees no. up and see if that makes it easier. Now, yeah, put your arms out front and see if that makes it. <laughs> you haven't pulled up? I it's can't. Right. I can do it if I put my arms out forward. Why is that? Leverage? That's, yeah, leverage. Uh, if, if you have trouble doing it, don't worry. You, you'll, we'll build you up. You'll be able to do it sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> it only takes, you know, the beginning exercises and you slowly build your way up. And everybody can do it sooner or later. Wow. Okay. Turn over on your belly. You want us to face you? Oh, the, it yeah, it's better if you face. Okay. So you can see what you're supposed to do. Okay, just hang over, put your hands up on the bench by the side of you. And pick your head up. Now put your hands on your back. Relax completely. And now feel what happens with the muscles as you lift your head up. Everything gets tight. Yeah. yeah. It tightens the muscles up all along your spine. It really, if you really feel it, you can feel the difference. But now again, what you do. That's right, you're all just about right now. Try seeing how far up you can come. Come up a little bit higher. Can you come up higher? Can, should you leave your feet down? Or can you, lift them you should try and keep your feet down. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you feel what, the, the, if you put your hands around your waist, Woo! when you come up high, you'll feel the difference. You're again using your, the mm -hmm. muscles around your waist to do some of the work. All right. Sure, I bet you never knew you had muscles. <laughs> Yeah, he said he that his back hurt. That means he knows he has muscles. They're not too That's good. kind of a shame, but that's sort of the way a lot of people find out that they have muscles when they start hurting in some place because <laughs> they haven't been using them right. You mean it's not the bones that are hurting, it's the muscles? Bones, bones don't, I, there are, well, let me tell you someday when I, when I look at it a little bit more and can tell you more exactly. But mostly it's, it's muscles that hurt, yeah, muscles and ligaments. Okay. John, you're Manny's son, aren't you? Yes. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? I got a daughter, 18. She's almost 19. When are you going to be 19? <laughs> I'm not Turn over on your side. I'll have a move in with you, Maggie. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should trade. <laughs> okay, head over on your side. Over the edge of the chair if you can. If it bothers you, get up on the chair. And lift your head up and down. Now put your hand on the side of your neck and feel what happens with your neck as you raise it. Bring your ear up towards your shoulder. Don't bring it forward. Can you feel that? It's tight. Yeah. Now feel your waistline. You'll see that very little works there. Well, I right. can feel it a little. It, it gets but a little tight. Just though. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to try it so you can really feel it. Come Great. up <laughs> and keep your hand on your waistline so you can feel it. Oh, no. Man, can you <laughs> oh, do no. That? Can you get up? Are you I, kidding? Sideways? <laughs> Can you push yourself well, up on your elbow? One, well, yeah, well, I guess you'll have to if you can't do it any other way. One thing we're finding out here is where, what exercises people need. That isn't what we really meant to do. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, come down again and try it again. Hand on your waistline. You can put your other hand up on your shoulder if you want. And again, come up. <laughs> and down. Up on my elbow. Do and up. Lean back a little on your bottom. See if it makes it easier. And down. 
Try yeah. it over on the other side. Even that <laughs> doesn't help. <laughs> Use your other hand if you need to, but Don't try, try not on to. The way over. <laughs> okay, first over the edge a little. And lift your head, feel your neck. And lift your head up. Up. And up. Up. You know, this is the best way to find out how to use your muscles. If you always feel to see what's working, then you can work out for yourself the best exercises for you. I didn't even know I had so many muscles. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, they, it's just beautiful. It's a really beautiful engineering machine. There's, there's no more beautiful machine than the body. Nothing at all can compare with it. Put your hand around your waistline again. And again, if you can, come on. <laughs> And down. Lean back a little on your <laughs> <laughs> and, down. and down. Only if I... Oh. And up. <laughs> and down. You can do that. Tell me something. Do, do any of you really get, have any pain doing it at no. all? No, it doesn't no. hurt me. Okay. I just no. can't do it. The one <laughs> We're just short of a few muscles, Maggie. <laughs> no, you're not short of them. They're there, and you'll find them, and they'll really begin to work sooner or later. They, you know, it's funny. A lot of people come to me and, and tell me after they've been, they've been trying to use muscles that I tell them to, to use, you know, nothing happens when you say <laughs> to move that. And, but sooner or later, all of a sudden, one day, the muscle, the muscle finds it out what it's supposed to later. do. What? Don't you feel it a few hours later? Uh, you're it's lucky if you do. Stiff. It means you were working it right. Right. You should always be very happy if you find yourself stiff. <laughs> it really means that you are improving. It, it may feel terrible, but you're much better. <laughs> Okay, come up off the bench, pull them back just a little way, and just a little way right now, and stand up and lean. Now, again, if you've got a bad back, you have to be very careful with this one, really be careful. <laughs> Is he perspiring, or are you rearranging his hair? <laughs> what hair? Feet apart. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Lean over. Now, on this one, if you stick your bottom out a little, then it helps you to arch your back. Keep your head up and arms out this way, you're going to bop each other. Yeah, right. I fade on this Okay, one. everybody bring your uh, right arm down first. Right? So, oh, <laughs> right arm. Yeah. And over to the other side. This, again, puts the weight on so that you're using it as an exercise instead of just showing what the movement is. Pulls on your legs. It back. pulls on your legs, too, yes. But can you feel your back? Yes. Yes. Good. The lower doing, part of David? your back. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, good. yeah, yeah I, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really where, it, where it's working. That's right. Well, I thought I was afraid I was going to bang you. I'm worried. Yeah. You know, that's why. <laughs> this is the one so thing Ooh, the more that I... Twist the that's right. It feels really feels head. wonderful. It really yeah. does. The one thing that I wanted I to get across is down. every move that you find out you can make, once you then find how to put pressure on by using your own body weight, that's when the exercise starts. Before that is flexibility. Afterwards is the real exercise when you when you add the weight to it. Okay, sit down on the benches. <laughs> I'm going to show you now an easy version of all those same movements in case you can't, you know, really get up and do them that way. And this really again is more flexibility, but it slowly builds you. And then from that point, you know, the, you have to slowly work your way up. Come down over first. If you're in a chair, it's fine. It'll work in a chair too. That and then I can feel it stretching. That yeah, feel you can really yeah. feel it. This is a wonderful one for most bad backs. It's really a very, very good one. I love those things where you really bend forward. And back over this way. You can put your arms down on the, the chair behind you if it's uncomfortable. You know, anything that makes you feel more comfortable, as long as you're flexing or extending your back this way. By the way, that's what it's called. This way is called flexion, and this way is called extension. It's just a word. It doesn't mean anything except you're bending forward and you're bending back. Uh, but remember, the only thing you have to remember that is important is if anything hurts, don't do it. And if you want, if you want to build up to it, ask your doctor if it's all right. And we, you know, there are lots of things you can do, but you just have to be sure that it's not going to hurt you first. Okay, now uh, forward and back. Now bring one elbow down to your side. Try to touch the chair. Lean directly down to your side and then to the other side. Over, and over, 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 and that again is a nice easy version of the yes, bending to the side because that's something to stop sitting, you. watching TV. That's right. Now, why should it be easy to go down? I can go down like that and back, but going to the side is, a, is Because you don't have as much uh, flexibility yeah. to the side as you mm. do forward. 
it's according again to the person. Yeah. But you do have your ribs that will stop you going, you know, too far. Forward, all you've got is your belly, so you can make a good bend forward. I thought I just didn't have the same kind of hinge in there. What? I just thought I didn't have the same kind of hinge in there that everybody yeah, else Yeah, well, it is a slightly different according to which way it's bending. Yeah. Remember all the teacups with the balloons in that uh, right. uh, yeah. the handles, you know, were coming different places. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, uh, arms out, and just swing around this way. And if you let your head swing at the same time, then you're getting the neck rotation in, too. That feels good. Ellis, you're looking younger already. <laughs> you know, that's stirring up I a breeze. Good. Somebody has a nice perfume on. <laughs> it's not me. I hope not. <laughs> is this the air conditioning Elixir we paid of for? you, right? Is this the air conditioning we paid for? That's right. <laughs> okay, come up now. Now, those are, those are all the movements in a nice, easy way. Now we're going to, you know, do some exercises. These are the... Uh, first, I'll give you the one really good flexibility exercise. Let's get these back first. Okay, this mm -hmm. one now is for people who are pretty steady on their feet. Your balance has to be good. So if your balance isn't good, just uh, do the ones that we did on the chair before. Put your arms up overhead. Remember, it's important to keep your arms up by the side of your ears and do all the circling around from your waistline. Keep your arms up straight and make small circles. Be careful if your balance is bad. Keep your feet apart. Around and around. Get a little lower all the time. Around and around down close to the floor. Closer. Oh, I know. Connect one time. Okay, and round the other way. Let's, uh, well, okay, round the other way. <laughs> Keep your arms up close to your ears. And stretch out from the waistline, stretch back a little too. Round down close to the floor. Ooh. And relax. Wow. Now these, are these, <laughs> these are mostly for flexibility, or do they build up your These are mostly for uh, flexibility. The one thing we're trying to get across here is you need to bend. And there's one good way to do it. Oh, you're so gracious. Yeah, she's going to be the uh, queen next week. I wouldn't want to do like that on camera. Come down. No, not too many people I know do that anymore. It, why don't you try it? A curtsy? It's not hard. Oh, you, a what? A, a curtsy. curtsy? No, it's not, it's it's not a curtsy. It's a again. bow, too. Men bow that way, don't they? The queen. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Sure. Hey, hey great. God, that's, God. That's, that's David, great. that was great. <laughs> Your grace. Applaud you. He'll do yeah. it again. Okay. <laughs> Now let's try some things that are a little bit harder, and on these we're really working to get the muscles built up that are right along the spine. That's why anybody with a bad back, we've got two of them here, if anything hurts at all, really don't do it. Come over to the wall and let's try these out. Can you push that bench back? Okay, put your hands on the wall, stand out a little way, feet apart. And this, this is the easy version for people whose backs might be bad. But again, be very careful. If anything hurts, just quit. Stick your bottom out until you come out with your back arched. And bounce gently. If that hurts, move in a little closer. Keep your face up towards the wall. And bounce over towards the left. And over towards the right. And left. I don't know, mine doesn't seem to arch as much and as yours right. does. You know, uh, well, that, that comes with time. You get the flexibility. It. You know, this is a funny position. It, have you ever seen what torture women go to after they have babies? People never realize what a strange thing it is that they have to do. The, after you have your baby, it's, this is a very strange bend for your back, and it really takes building these muscles to be able to do it without, without really making yourself uncomfortable. If you exercise, you're fine. But you have a baby, and here you are holding a weight out this way. And you have to lean over cribs and play pens mm. this way with a weight at the end of your arms. It's really very, very bad. It's mm -hmm. really a very hard exercise. Right. Well, it's not an exercise because unless you've worked up to it, you're really in trouble. You can really hurt your back. You should, when you, when you bend with a, with a weight, be able to come down with it close to your body. And when you come out this way, you're really in trouble. Play pens and cribs should have doors. 
That's why with men hinges like that are protected. With bad back, shouldn't have to take care okay, of the kids. Okay, can I hear so you? Right. <laughs> shouldn't have to what? Take care of the kids so much is bad for our back. Right, it really oh, is. It honestly is. What you should do is exercise this day. Tell my wife about that. <laughs> okay, come out this way. Now, remember, if your back hurts, you don't do it, really. Put your arms behind your back first. This is the easy version. Keep your face up and bounce gently around from side to side. Why do you look like Mother Goose? <laughs> peck, peck. Now the bird's on the edge of the glass. If you really arch your back, if you can really feel it arching, then you're really going to be doing yourself, and doing yourself a lot of good. Um, I feel it at the back of my legs. Be sure that you're careful about your balance. It's really important not to lose your balance. I okay, just lost okay. my balance. <laughs> I lost his balance. He's going to have conclusions of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can have those. Yeah. yeah. We look That's the truth. Of Let's hope that. <laughs> okay, now, for anybody that did, that didn't bother. Uh, Pauline, how does that feel? Does it Beautiful. perfectly comfortable? Beautiful. Okay. No complaints. Now, as we're, I think we'll have more trouble with our men because besides your back being ba bad, you've got more weight across the shoulders. So be careful how you do the next version. That's right. with the hands behind the head. And bounce from side to side. Keep your back arched and your head up. This is much That's tougher. not easy. That's not Getting easy. a little harder? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Now this you can feel the small of your back. Right. Yeah. And I can't get down. You get down <laughs> much further, Dave. Mm -hmm. See the price you pay for youth, Alice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll be worth it in the long run. <laughs> that's not easy. No, it isn't. That it is. No. Well, that's that's the medium. Now, how about the hard? It doesn't look as hard as it. It doesn't look as hard as it is. I know. Well, that, that's that's why it's a good thing to at least try these. If you haven't tried them, it's good to try at least one just to see how it feels. You know, if you do just one today, you've already made a start. And tomorrow, you're you're already ahead of the game. Uh, you know, all you need is just one move today and just go on from there. It really doesn't hurt a bit. You know, you're not supposed to do ever anything in a hurry. Just a little bit more each day. Okay, this time, this is really the hard one. Arms way out, arch your back, head up, and bounce to the left. Left. If left. it hurts, quit. And center. For the right. <laughs> right. And center. And left. Hello. You wouldn't oh, think that was so. That, that's you know, real. I can't, I can't arch my back. I really can't at all. No, I think it's I, I can feel my stomach muscles working, but not my back muscles. Really? I, I that that means you're not arching your back properly. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to. Put your legs apart and stick your bottom way out and bounce with your head up. Uh, can you feel that? Yeah, I guess a little bit more. All right, yeah. let me show you a better way. Get down on the floor. Sure you can feel that in the back here. Couldn't you feel it in the back Down on your belly. Yeah, it's a good stretch for the back of the legs. Put your hands behind your back and come up as far as you can. Oh, that one, that. I can feel that. I can feel that. Feel that time. Oh. And down. <laughs> and up. And keep it up. Oh, Maggie, we like you. Why do you <laughs> crucify us like this? Because I like you too. <laughs> <laughs> This is good for the stomach muscles. It is, well, it's really much better for these muscles along the back. That's right. Does, That's does that I bother feel. your back at all? No. No. You're That's sure? Right. Now, this is one that really can okay. be bad yeah. for people that have bad backs, so please, please be careful. If anything hurts, or even if you feel, you know, funny, achy across here, you know what it means. So if it bothers you, just please, please don't do it. Okay, hands out again. Let's do it a little bit differently. Put your hands out in front and bring your legs up, too and paddle up and down. Come up a little higher if you can. Now I'm going to boat. I can learn to swim. Wow, the other. If I'm doing my hands, I can't do my feet. Oh, that's, that's about it. I could use a pillow. I'm going to do one thing at a time. If you want to make a bet? <laughs> if I'm if grunting, does that mean I'm not breathing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, David just said, if he's really grunting, does it mean he's not breathing? You should never grunt. If you grunt, it means you're holding your breath. And that runs your blood pressure up, and you're not supposed to run your blood pressure up. That's, that's an important thing to know. You keep breathing as naturally as possible. If you grunt at all, you're not doing what you should be doing. Okay, let's try this again. Put your hands behind your head this time. And come up and down. Come up as high as you can. And down. Up and down. Can I push myself up, up on my elbows? That that's won't cheating. help. <laughs> Like if you can, I can't even get out. You really can't. Then put your hands behind your back and, and do it the easy way. As far as I can go. <clears throat> put your hands up behind your back. 
You feel like an ostrich, don't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Very in your head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it really, it, it just stretches that, you all the way up. I want to try a, a fun version. The way down. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah. Oh, fun Hold them up. Yeah. And rock. Oh, oh. come on, that I know. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Did you hurt yourself? Oh, I don't it just, it just opened. I, I, mine is that machinery that you have. <laughs> no, you're not. It's all there. It just isn't in working order yet. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, Johnny can do it. Johnny I can, can do it. I can do yeah, that too. That hurts. Yeah. Want to try a nice easy version? Oh, I'd love to try a nice easy version. <laughs> Grab hold of your feet. This is a How nice you one. Do? Watch your kids do this when the kids are beautiful. They're oh, so flexible. Now push uh, with your feet. Oh, and yeah. try to rock that way. Oh, I'm happy to oh. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, dear. Just, just rock as much as you can. Kids rock a lot. Oh, boy, that's a reverse curve. Yeah. How do you get started? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Actually, what I do to get started is breathe. I mean, it really, you rock as you breathe. Oh. Try it and see. Mm. Yeah. Does that work? Uh -huh. It really works very well, and it keeps good, you breathing, yeah, too, if you think about it that right. You don't, don't stop, you keep going. <laughs> no wonder those kids are so rocking. Yeah. <laughs> Move <laughs> just a little further back so we can do this one. You can just pick your feet up, your legs up off the floor so that you can do this one right. Stretch your arms out and swing around from side to side. Yeah, just I, let your legs well, go. You have to sink your arms. Yeah. Good. I never oh, saw no. you work a deal up like that. <laughs> now I won't have to take a swimming lesson. Good, good. <laughs> Oh. No, you really don't need it. It's good and wet here and <laughs> doing the same oh, motions. The water is nice and warm. Yeah, how, how can you? Do it? I, well, I know how she does it because she does it all the time. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's the way to stay up there. Okay. Now, first of all, turn over and just come down, undo what we've done, undo the damage by stretching over forward and swing around a little from one leg to the other just to get yourself loosened up a little. And now, come up. Try not to use your hands. Come up. Oh, well, <laughs> We did. Now, this, we after I've made we them did. work that hard, what I have to tell you is walking does the same thing. Walking does the same thing, just in, not, not in as tough a way. So any walking you do is going to help you. And you have nice cushions on the bottom of your feet, nice cushions all the way down your spine. That's to make sure everything goes the way it should. If the cushions are weak, you don't jog on them. If you have this in your back that are giving you trouble, don't jog, walk until it's just completely better. Try walking. Let's walk around to the circle. I hear myself creaking. I feel like I'm back in the audience. Are you doing your heel toe? Come around your heel. Okay, now, pull your elbows up and accentuate all of it. You're making all the same movements that we've been making, just all put together. Bring your arms way forward. Really accentuate it. Okay, you want to get yourself better, this is the way to do it. If a tree creaks, you know it's still safe, it's bending. If it doesn't bend, you're in trouble. That's right, Be a willow. Good for you. Ciao.